Um, hey guys, what's um, what's going on, you guys? It's um, it's me. Um, I don't really know how to like start this video. Um, what time is it? It's twelve twenty-six in the morning. Um, yeah, twelve twenty-six, and um, today's July uh, sixteen, two thousand thirteen. Um, today's um, my dad's birthday. Um, he would be 53 today. Uh, and, um, as you guys know, I'm a very personal person with you guys. I will, um, always tell you guys personal things, like whatever, something a big event happened or you know, um, deciding not to go to college the day before it starts, or getting fired from a job. Um, so I, I, I just felt like I had to just talk to you guys about this because um, a lot of people have been now, at least for my channel, have been now you know, more active with me and talking and yada yada yada. But the point being, um I just felt like grabbing the camera and just talking. Which if you're not if if you're someone like a ghost or whatever that's just looking at me right now, you're probably like, Why is he talking to himself in the camera? So technically I'm not talking to anybody but for people that watch this video this is I guess for you guys to listen I guess the word would be um, I, I don't even know how to like I didn't even like plan this out I just just feel like grabbing the camera just talking um, about things that are going on I guess in my mind uh, I guess I could I, sh I guess I should uh, start by describing him to you guys um, my dad died when I was I want to say maybe three months old he died in February 1995 um, and I was born in November of 94. I'm not gonna say when, because you never give out your birthday on fucking public YouTube, sure. Um, so, yeah, I would think three months, maybe? Four? I don't know. It was before my fourth birthday, so, yeah, three, I guess you could say. Um, my dad... Uh, his name was he, he went by uh, Carmen um, like I think that was his middle name Carmen but his real name I'm not going to say but a lot of people know him as Carmen or Carmelo um, so I guess you could, you could say that's his middle name obviously has my last name but I'm not going to say what my last name is um, obvious reasons if you figure out what my last name is it will do but um, my dad was originally from Mexico, and he was, for as much as I know from him being there, he was a brother of, I think, two people, I don't know, it was two people, I think, like two sisters, something like that, I'm not exactly too sure, I don't remember a lot, I don't really know 
that side of my family, if you guys understand what I mean. So, and plus, the people that I know that are from his side are in Utah, so I have no one here besides my mom to ask them about that kind of stuff, but, um, um, let's see, my dad wanted to be a priest, weirdly enough, uh, knowing me, uh, and how, how I am about religion and stuff, he wanted to be a priest, but, um, I think it was his mom, it was my grandma, who was still alive. It's always a shame. You know, that's how it's like, the parent, a parent should never have to bury their kid. I think they had her home. Because, um, apparently he was, like, the best, like, son, or whatever. He, um, he wasn't <laughs> sold to her, like, apparently everyone else was to her, but... Um, she wanted to be a priest, but uh, she convinced them not to, and uh, to move to America, which, you know, came to America, and it's a lot of busy stuff there. But um, one day, my now uncle um, was telling my mom, "Hey, you know, I know a guy who I think you might like." Real classy guy. He'll tr he'll treat a lady nice. He'll treat you nice. He isn't a douchebag or whatever. And um, let me introduce you to him. And that guy was my dad. Um, so I met him. She loved him automatically. Love at first sight, I guess you could say. Um, he um, would be really, really romantic. You know, to her. Um, to a lot of kids saw, uh, like, you know, every week or every month on the anniversary, sent a bunch of flowers and stuff. And they had a fight, sent a bunch of flowers to her. <laughs> no matter what, even if it was a big argument, a little argument. Um, <laughs> he, um, he was great, you know? But, um, he, he loved to play the guitar a lot. <laughs> That's something I know. Uh, for all the stories I hear, you know. Um, he was... He was really a helpful kind of guy, you know. From all the stories I hear, from my uh, family, they, they would say, like, yeah, your dad would always um, help out anybody. You know, family, friend, stranger with anything, whether it be money or fixing a car or just to listen, anything, and um, this great guy apparently, you know, um, <laughs> Sorry about that. Mucus and stuff. Um, I, um, I, um, uh, my dad, um, would, uh, you know, do really knew a lot about mechanic stuff, you know, he he, he knew his way with a car, like, in, the ins and outs, or whatever, um, so, you know, he went from being a priest, or wanting to become a priest, to working in a shell gas station, I forgot which one, I don't even know what's still around, but, um, working at a shell gas station as a mechanic, uh, to support my mom and stuff, um, weird, right, um, my dad, um, oh, apparently, <laughs> my mom told me that, um, he, he taught her how to drive. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, he taught her how to drive, uh, in this Toyota that they had, which I still remember, um, of course not, you know, with him in it or whatever, but I still remember my mom having it. And, um, uh, yeah, I remember it was a, if I remember correctly, it was kind of like silver, I guess you could say. 
uh, small, when I was a kid, I used to always fuck with the roof. I would always go, just on the roof. I don't know why, I just did it. Um, my, um, my dad <laughs> was really, really loud and popular with my whole family. You know, my mom's family and his, obviously. Uh, people would always say, oh, he loved to dance, and just dance and dance. And, um, you know, I have cousins who I love <laughs> that, um, you know, when they were little, like, I remember one of my cousins, who I won't say his name, but if he watches this, you know, um, he would apparently tell my mom, like, uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to go home with you guys, you know, just hang out with you guys and stuff. Yeah, because um, that was always awesome. And uh, he apparently used to always have, like, toys and gifts for them when they were kids, you know. Obviously now they're older, but when they were kids, um, everyone loved him, you know. <laughs> the adults, the, the kids, the teens, whatever the fuck, everyone loved him. He would, you know, be, he would, he, he could, he could be, a, he could be the center of attention, and then he could also just be completely a loner. Um, he could talk to you about anything, he could be serious with you, he could be, um, random, anything, he will love them. Real charismatic and stuff, you know, and, um. And, um, what else can I say about my dad? <laughs> my mom told me that, um, he would always just have a mustache. Kind of like mine, you know? I'll always just have a mustache because, um, whenever he would shave his mustache, it would, uh, take forever for him to grow it. So he, if I decided that he would never shave his mustache, so he would, Rarely, if ever, uh, shave, just because, you know, he he really loved facial hair, you know, but he could never grow it, <laughs> uh, which is weird, because um, when I got my mustache, which I know it's gonna be like this, my mom would always tell me like, oh, wow, I can't believe you already have a mustache. Your dad would never have it. He he it took until he was like in his mid twenties or you know late twenties to be able to fucking get one. Um, and even then, it wasn't, it wasn't a, my mustache is longer than his, which, <laughs> got you there, Dad. I can, I can grow a beard. <laughs> he could Um, I kind of want to get, um, because he, um, loved playing guitar a lot, which, my uncle now plays a lot of guitar, which makes me wonder right now, maybe he plays a lot of guitar because of him, you know, he lives my dad's spirit, I guess you could say, if you believe in that kind of stuff, whatever, I believe that people have spirits, or at least some kind of energy, but anyway, um, he, I guess you could say his spirit lives on to my uncle whenever he plays the guitar, because whenever he plays it, when I was a kid, I never noticed, but... When I was like 14 or so, when I started, when you start noticing things, when you're at that age, when you start thinking things, maybe it's before for some of the people, maybe it might be late, whatever, retarded or whatever, but, um, I started to know, I was like, wow, that, you can actually play the guitar and you sound amazing. Um, my uncle, who I won't say his real name, but he's always, this has always been his real name to me, and we call him Yoshi, because <laughs> his name um, almost sounds like Yoshi, when I was a kid, I used to always say, Yoshi, Yoshi, God, hola, Yoshi, hola, Yoshi, <coughs> Yoshi, Yoshi, and, um, he would, uh, <laughs> he would, come on, get Yoshi, <laughs> and, um, Yoshi, I always loved my dad, you know, I think, 
him and my mom were pretty much at that level, the same level of who missed. And a whole family that missed him the most, like, I would say probably them too. You know? My dad, um, died because basically his body said, fuck you, you, we can't do this anymore. Um, my dad loved to drink more than, you know, he should have. And, um, it led to, I think, he pretty much was an alcoholic, basically. You know, my mom would, you know, catch him, you know, going to the bathroom a lot. She was like, wow, maybe he, you know, has to pee a lot, maybe he has a problem or whatever. No, he would be drinking little alcohol, you know, he slept in it or whatever from the gas station or some shit. And, um, you know, my mom would always tell him, hey, hey. You want kids, right? You want you want kids, right? Yeah, of course I do. Well, how can I? How can we have a kid when you're sick? What are you gonna do? Get him and then die? He, he, he drank so much that um, they were gonna get a divorce. Like my mom would. My mom would use it as a threat, like, "Hey, we're gonna get a divorce. You keep doing this. I don't want to. I don't want to live like this. I can't live like this." And he, um, I would probably have done the same thing. He actually went out, got the papers, and said, "Well, this is what you wanted, right?" And he would be. He, apparently, he was so sad, and he had such a terrible look when he said that to her. And she was like, "No, of course not. I don't want one, but I, I was using that so you could fucking do it, because obviously." You know, if you're not gonna listen to any reason, then okay, then fuck. I gotta be drastic, and you know. And, uh, no one really would tell him this, you know. Like, hey, quit drinking or whatever, because you would get angry at them, you know. My my dad was an angry drunk. Um, he never hit my mom. Never, never that. Never that. You know, he, he he kept his reputation. He was a classy guy. He never hit a woman. Never. Never. Fuck the machismo shit. Fuck all these guys that think women are less of a person and shit. Fuck all those guys, by the way. Fuck you if you're that kind of guy. He, um, which is probably why I fucking hate those kind of guys. Says my dad. He, he would never hit her. He would always love her. Every time they had an argument because of that stuff, he, next day, flowers. Fuck a little flowers in the card. You know, apologizing and stuff. <laughs> but, um, you know, he, because of all the heavy drinking, when he finally, he would never want to go to the doctor either because of that. He would be like, oh, they always find something wrong. Good. You know, if they find something wrong, they'll heal you, man. <laughs> so, uh, eventually, but he, he um, finally went. The doctor said, "You are fucking. You're 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 fucked. If you would have came, maybe a month, maybe maybe even a week before, you could have had a chance. But there's no way." And, um, it was a few weeks prior to that that, um, you know, they had sex, <laughs> to put it blunt, and, um, my mom was pregnant. <laughs> With me. And her, whatever. And, um, you know, knowing that information, she was like, look what happened. 
you're gonna have a son and you're gonna die. Just go away. Not to gonna see him, you know, when he went to first day of school. Not to see him graduate from high school. Not to be there in parent, parent teacher conferences, you know? Not to teach him about women or sex or cars or like it's hard or nothing. Teach him right from wrong. It got to the point where he, like, had hepatitis C, I think, which you can get from alcohol, not from sex, you assholes. <laughs> he basically had a, I think it was liver cancer. He, um, he apparently looked terrible. You know, he started to die on his deathbed or what have you. Then about, you know, four months before his death, or, or just about, here I am. He, he was there when my mom was giving birth uh, the whole way. I probably took like over a day. <laughs> a big head, so you know, you're welcome, mom. You're welcome, mom, for my big ass head. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I only see, I only have two photos of him. Two photos. One of him, like, from here, you know, maybe like over the shoulder, like with the green shirt. Um, my dad was really, really brown. <laughs> I'm light, and he's brown as fuck. My mom is light, so I got, I got the lightness from my mom. But my dad was, like, almost Indian, you could say. <laughs> um... With uh, with like a little afro, <laughs> a little one with a mustache, and with like a you know like kind of like pose, you know, like you know, um. And the other photo was um with you know him holding me, and looking at me, you know, with short hair, looks terrible, but he's holding me, you know. And the worst part it's the only thing I have of him and me you know together I don't have any memories I don't have any I don't have any video or anything of me and him together all I have is that one photo <laughs> Four months later, he died. And there goes possibly the best. There goes the best dad ever. The best person ever. Would always help you, no matter what the fuck the issue was. Would always be there for you. To either just to listen, to cheer you up, to party you with. He was a great husband, he was a great person, he was a great dad, you know? You know, even, even in his death, he's, he's always been there 
I can feel it. I, I'm not really a religious person or a spiritual person, but you know, something in me is like he's he's here. You know, maybe he's right here in the background right now. Who knows? I I don't know. If any of you that think that's nasty when we do that on camera, fuck you. <laughs> I, I, um... I, I try to look at a lot of the positive things, you know, of him not... being here. Um... Like, you know, where would I be right now? Would I be me, if that makes sense? Like, would I have no people that I know right now? Would I know, you know, Dylan, um, the asteroid falls? Would I have known my close, personal, best friends? Would I know the things that I know now? I have the, the mindset I have right now. Would I have done the things that I've done right now? If it, it, if he was still here or alive or never died, you know. Dylan was um, you know, because I I've never looked at the positive. I was always just thinking negative about it, you know. Which I know I still go through and get some of the tears out. I um, well hold on first. <clears throat> He, Dylan told me that you should look at the positive of what, what you were able to do because of that motivation. Because I am the kind of person who, who, I am motivated and inspired to kind of be like my dad, but to show him wherever he is that I'm good. You know, even if you're not physically there, I'm good. I can, I can handle my shit, you know, I... I I graduated high school, which that 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 was a struggle. I'm gonna tell you right now. Um, you know, I learned how to tie my shoes. I um, I learned how to use the bathroom without them. I um, I learned how to shave without them. I I learned how to get up. Girlfriend who I love a lot without him, you know. When I was a kid, or about like ten, which still a kid, I would always, sometimes, you know, see, you know, a dad picking up his child on, on his shoulders. And always wondering, you know, where, where's my dad? Why isn't he here doing that with me? You know, doesn't he love me? Of course, at the time, I didn't know, you know, I didn't really understand or comprehend the idea of, you know, death, that, you know, once a person's dead, they're fucking dead. You know, if they could be there, they wouldn't. And, um, you know, I'm in no way trying to come off as a person that, that's like, feel sorry for me because I have no dad. Because there's people that I know. I have a close friend who lost his mother two years ago, I want to say. You know? And he this he was, like, in senior year of high school. He had, it's all he had. It was him and his, like, six or seven other siblings. And then... His mom would always, always, was always there for them and stuff, you know. And then he lost her. You know, I can't understand, I can't understand what a person like him, or well, him, was going through because I didn't have those memories. So people argue with me sometimes, be like, and real assholes too, they try to argue with me like that shit too. Like, well, you don't have the memories to feel sad about, so why are you crying? Why do you care? It's like, but I would want that, you inconsiderate fucker. 
Because I know there's people that are watching that right now that probably fucking do this. Fuck you. Fuck anyone that, that has that kind of mindset. Fuck you, dude. No. I don't say that to somebody who fucking... Like, I'm not trying to say I had worse experience. No, whatever. But, I, you know, I, w I was trying to, you know, talk to them about myself because, you know... Someone doesn't have, you know, their parent. And, um, no one should go through that. At least not, you know, when they're, before they're 20 or whatever, you know. Maybe, maybe 50, maybe 60. I, I, I don't want my mom to die, dude. Fuck. My mom <laughs> to the liberty of being mom and dad for me, you know. That's why I love my mom. I don't know what I do without her. But, um, you know, uh, when I have my own son, child, child, why am I being sexist? Daughter or son, I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna be the best that I can for them, you know? Teach them how to tie their shoes, you know, listen to their stories, you know, play with them, <laughs> buy them things they like or they want to have, um, you know, tell them I love them, hug them, kiss them, fuck them, just kiss them, you know, because <laughs> I know a lot of kids don't like that, so I'm just kiss you, which I sound like a pedophile, but, <laughs> And, um, I'm going to try to be the best that I can, you know. I don't know what my life would be like with my dad. You know, uh, I wish he could be here physically and stuff. But um, even though he's not here, I know he's here, you know, in spirit or whatever. Just something in me knows he's he's here, you know. Fucking yeah. That's all I really have to say. Um, if any of you guys have some, have, have that kind of like connection with me right there, like you, like if you if you have lost either your grandmother or someone close to you, I, I don't mind talking to her, with you guys. You know, this is why I love I love the 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 the, the era that we're at right now, where you can literally tweet someone that you listen to, like, music-wise, whatever, and just talk about anything, you know? That's why I love social media. That's why I, I, I love talking to you guys, you know, Twitter, YouTube, whatever. Because we could talk and just fuck around or talk and be serious. So if you guys want to talk, I'm all ears. <laughs> That's the least I could do, you know? I, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now on YouTube without you guys. So, for all of you that have listened to this, um, or wrote a comment or anything, or has ever watched any video of mine ever, even if you're new, um, thank you. Because it helps a lot. You know. I, um, I have a lot of goals in my, uh, that I want to be able to do, and a lot of things I want to be able to accomplish. And, um... It's tough, <laughs> to say the least, so, I can't think of any other way to end this video than this. Happy birthday, Dad. You would be 53 years old. Happy birthday. I love you.